Hi guys, welcome to another video. And today we're looking at voltmeters and ammeters. We've seen in previous videos where the battery provides a push for electrons around a circuit. And as those electrons pass through a component, energy is transferred to make that component work. But as you can see on this diagram here, we have two components um, attached to this circuit in different ways. Well, you should know that this component here is called an ammeter. An ammeter is there to measure the current going through a circuit. Ammeters will give us a reading in the unit amps. And the ammeter is always placed in series with the circuit. Some ammeters can measure um, really small current um, and they give a unit in milliamps. And just for your guys' knowledge, one milliamp is equivalent to 0 0.001 ampere. What about this component here? Well, this component here is called a voltmeter. And you can see that the voltmeter is placed parallel to the component. That's because the voltmeter measures the potential difference across a component. Potential difference is just another way of saying energy transferred, or in physics we can also say work done, by each coulomb. of charge. And this really is what potential difference is all about. For your exam, you may be asked to calculate potential difference. And to calculate it, you need to use the equation on the board. They'll give you this equation in the exam, so don't worry about learning it. Where the V, this stands for potential difference. And the unit for potential difference is volts, or the capital V. The W stands for work done, or energy that's been transferred. And we measure that in joules. The Q stands for charge, and that's measured in coulombs. So let's take a look at a question that you guys may face in your exam. And I've just put one at the bottom here. It says five coulombs of charge. Remember the capital C stands for charge. So five coulombs of charge transfer 30 joules of energy. Calculate potential difference. So I can look at my equation at the top. And I can put this equation into a triangle where work done would go at the top, charge and potential difference at the bottom. For this question, though, I don't need to rearrange it and it should be quite straightforward. So I write my equation out, which is potential difference is work done over charge. And now I can start putting my numbers in. Because work done is 30 joules. Remember, we calculate work done in joules. So that's 30. And I can divide that by the charge, which is 5. If I get my calculator, 30 over 5 gives me 6 volts. It's 6 volts because it's asked us to calculate potential difference. And volts is the unit for potential difference. 
check out the website guys where we've got plenty of questions for you to have a go at just getting you used to using this equation okay guys thanks for tuning in stay in touch with another video